Hi, I'm Steve Speck. I'm the owner and designer here at Exo Mountain Gear, and this is uh, another video in the Why Do We series. Uh, every once in a while, someone asks uh, why the frame is so narrow, right? It's designed to haul meat. We want this kind of wide platform to strap meat to. Uh, and the answer really is, first and foremost, just function um, and performance, right? So when I was designing K4, I played with thousand different combinations, at least it feels that way to me, of where the frame actually connected into the hip belt, whether it's eight and a half inches apart or all the way down here at uh, roughly six inches apart where it ended up. And really what I was striving for was to eliminate as much as possible any kind of slip that happens under heavy load. Um, and by putting the stays closer together, I was able to create pressure for the lumbar pad to kind of push into. So if the frame sat out quite a bit wider, uh, as you're tightening up that hip belt, there's not as much resistance to kind of push against that, which would then allow the lumbar pad not to create that pressure because it would kind of push back into the frame. Um, it was definitely something uh, I want to say was aesthetically a concern of mine. I remember showing to different people like, hey, do you think this is too narrow? Do you think people will like look at it and not inspire confidence? But, but at the end of the day, the performance was absolutely there. This is where this specific configuration was where the performance was the best. And uh, obviously through reviews, you can go look up online uh, performance. I mean, it, you know, widely regarded K4 is going to be one of the most comfortable frames you can possibly put on your back. And really there's a lot of little things that go into that. Obviously you've got the two vertical independent stays that are allowed to kind of move independent of each other, where if it was like a solid sheet, they're kind of tied together and you don't get that movement. And then we have the horizontal crossbars that are carbon fiber to kind of prevent that barreling of the pack. Uh, and then really like we have really tight frame connection so that the pockets down here at the bottom are really, really snug. Um, and then that just adds all to that stability. And then the how the this plastic piece down here at the bottom uh, and the shoulder harness webbing is sewn out here wider than the frame connects into it. Uh, and so all that just aids in stability. Like a, a good example was when I was packing out uh, my moose that I shot up in Alaska last year is, you know, it's a really wide 68, 69 inch moose, super heavy, kind of awkward load with, you know, we had like 20, 30 mile an hour winds that day. Um, but once I had that thing strapped securely to the pack, it was actually incredibly stable. I, I could lean over to the side back and forth and it wasn't like carrying me or, or, or throwing me off balance. It was, it was just really, really stable platform. So there's definitely designing you know this specific pack a lightweight backcountry hunting pack that is you know exceptionally capable with um well really across the broad range of uses that we need it to be so it could be you dropped camp and you have 15 pounds in your pack and you're just running up the mountain to go to a peak and glass for the night or you got 140 pounds of moose meat on your back the, the frame needs to perform across all those conditions if i was just designing a pack to haul 140 pounds all the time and do nothing else the pack would look a little bit different but it's it's not it's got to cover these really wide ranges of uses uh, and perform again at, at all the stops along the way like we try we try to say absolutely no compromises and that's certainly how i do my design approach of just keep refining and tweaking and, and working on the designs until they are as, as good as I can possibly get them. So that's uh, a little bit of the backstory and design on why the K4 frame is pretty narrow. Again, uh, look at the reviews, try it for yourself, load it up. Uh, I think you're gonna be very, very happy with the performance of the frame. For more information, you can check us out at exomountaingear.com.